Please welcome the one and only Michelle Pfeiffer. You know, it's funny. I, sometimes some people will say like, I know you, or I feel like I know you, and it's hard because we're not very good at being objective about ourselves, but I think we all feel that way about you. Really? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very surprising to hear you say that because I'm a bit shy and it comes off as being kind of icy and aloof. Sometimes, in fact, that's really primarily what I get. And I'm like, really? And, um, um, but, you know, so it's just, it's very nice to hear you say that. Well, you definitely have an alluring, um, mysterious quality. Um, I'm more of a It's pan anxiety. It's total anxiety, <laughs> I'm telling you right now. <laughs> well, this part leads right into my first question, which is, it's beauty week here, and you, where it, you started in a beauty pageant, how do you talk yourself off the ledge if you're having any anxiety to go out there and like knock them dead? You know, it's that thing like performing, it's like any kind of performing, it's, uh, you can be literally like vomiting, you know, in the wings waiting to go, and then the minute the camera rolls or the minute you walk on stage, it's something else takes over, um, but you know, the first, 10 years of acting, the first day of shooting, I would shake uncontrollably, so bad, and I was, I was convinced that you would be able to see it on screen, but fortunately for me, you never could. I have a clip from this 1978 pageant, which I'm really excited about because I know these photographs very well. They are burned in my memories, but I've never seen moving footage of it, and we have it here, so I would love to show it. From Orange County, Michelle Pfeiffer, blue eyes, blonde hair, a high school graduate going to Golden West College. From Orange County, Michelle Pfeiffer, a softball player who also oil paints. She'd like to become an actress. She'd like to become an actress. I know. See? It just goes to show you, it doesn't matter where you start. <laughs> now, okay, that was from the 1978 Miss California pageant. Um, when you're looking at that, is there any memory that comes to your head other than like maybe the psyching yourself out on the sidelines? I went in doing this because I was told that one of the judges was a commercial agent and he had been known to sign people from the pageant. And so that was the whole reason I did it. Did anything come out of that pageant? Yeah, I actually signed with the agency. I started doing commercials. It worked! I mean, not to sound creepy, but like, who wouldn't? Who would not see you and not be like, backflip, 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 backflip. How would you like to sign with me? <laughs> did he play it cool? Yeah, he did actually. And they wanted me to change my name though. Oh, to what? anything but Pfeiffer, because nobody could spell it. The E-I, the double F, it was just all too much for them, I guess. What made you stick to your guns about that? I'm kind of willful. Um, and I might father would have killed me. Yes, good, okay, yeah. well this is good. Uh, oh, by the way, in What Lies Beneath, is it true that you yes. maybe channeled yes. Casey Becker from yes. Scream? Yes, it is How? true. What is that? Wait, what? True. Uh, that, that's so uh, trippy to me, and I'll tell you why in a second, but why did you think of Casey Becker from Scream? Because here was a woman who um, was being stalked in her home, terrified, and I was prepping for it And uh, around the same time that I saw you in that film, and your terror was so terrible, it was so real. It was so real. And I, did, I thought, oh, that's, that's it. So I, 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 oh my God. You have made, you have like justified that entire performance. I copied you, completely I, copied you. Okay, well, I think I might surprise you right now and yet it won't be when you look at it. 
Oh. <laughs> that was what I took to the wig maker. I said, can you make me Michelle Pfeiffer in Scarface? <laughs> you were my inspiration. <laughs> I want to find, and I will make it my life's mission, of me dancing around as Stephanie Zanoni, my favorite movie in the world, Grease 2. That was right before I did Scarface. Oh, you must not be able to like walk down a street without people flipping out about Scarface. That's a cultural revolution. It kind of depends on where I am. If I'm in Miami, <laughs> um, or New York, kind of East Coast, you know, there's a lot of big fans. Um, but you know, the mask, oh, I love the mask. I, that, I am never giving up the mask. Okay, well, speaking of this area of your face that leads to the head and the heart and the memories and everything in between, Henry Rose is something, I think you hear Michelle Pfeiffer and this beautiful name, Henry Rose, which if you'll tell everybody what that means, because when I found out it really touched me. Basically, I named the, the brand after my, the middle names of my children, um, Henry and Rose, and my daughter said, why isn't it Rose Henry? That's a good question. I, I said, it. because men won't buy it. <laughs> so it's a genderless brand, um, which is one of the many things I was told not to do because nobody buys genderless brands. Well, now everything is genderless. You were so much. ahead of your time. And we took us about two years of formulating once we started working to launch with five fragrances. And that was um, two and a half years ago. And now it's going to be, I think, the 10th fragrance? Now we're coming out. Uh, yeah, the 10th fragrance is coming out in the spring. We just launched our ninth, Flora Carnivora, which was our first um, true flora, which was the really hard nut to crack. But I have a surprise for you. You do? I do. I do. Um, it's our, since, since you are such a fragrance connoisseur and such a fan of fragrance, um, this is our latest launch, which we just launched on Monday. Wait, show the front. Okay, this packaging is just so incredible. This is stunning. I mean, not only do we all love the rainbow and embrace it, but talk about including everyone. Well, and it's so interesting because I thought of this idea for the playground, and, um, and it kind of came out of our, our what, we're, what we were finding as a company is that, you know, we have a discovery set, um, which is a, a sample set, but what people were doing is rebuying the discovery set. They were having so much fun playing with them and layering them and kind of creating. Which one did you do? Oh my gosh, I, I. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, is, it, is it Flora Carnivora? Yes, it's Flora Carnivora. <laughs> Am I gonna like eat myself? <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, um, I am so excited <laughs> because um, we're, oh my gosh, that you, you really, you guessed me and you nailed me. 